Hi everyone, I'm Arthur. Today I want to show you how to use Google Site to build your website for free. You can use it to build your company website or intranet for internal company use. Some people might ask if we use Google Site and it might not be unprofessional because of the URL is google.com instead of yourcompany.com. Well, that's not the case because I'm going to show you how to turn in to yourcompany.com, your own domain. So it will be something like www.yourcompany.com or if you prefer to build a subdomain for your website where you already have an existing website. Um, for example, support.yourcompany.com you can turn the Google site into a subdomain site as well. And that's what I'm going to show you today. And let's get started. So our goal is to build a support website for our new software. So we need to have a place that um, like a help center to help any user for our software if they have a question such as frequent ask questions or um, quick start or something like that. We're going to put all those information on the site. And how do we do that is that we use the Google site to help us do the web hosting and using the free website builder. Uh, since the default is size.google.com and your website name, and we're going to turn that default domain into our domain such as support.yourcompany.com so how do we start doing that okay so if you come to um, your one of your browser and open up um, your Google uh, service from your Gmail you can try to find the icon called sites and that would be the Google sites Go ahead and click on that and the landing site will be this page here. Um, as you can see there are many templates uh, already made available to you. So you can quickly start with the new site. Very easy. So today I'm going to just use one of the template called Help Center which fits to our needs. Go ahead and click on that. Okay, now it opens up a partial made uh, website. And we can just go ahead and start looking into each icon what it meant so these two things will be the undo buttons where you can undo the last action when you feel that's a mistake and what we have is a home page and a documentation page when you click on pages tab you will see that there are two pages and you can create a new page by clicking on the plus sign button and let's start uh, modify the website uh, I would like to see a better theme for my website and this seems uh, pretty good okay And let's make some change on the title. Okay, since my product is called Video Thunder, and I'm going to add a logo. So There's another option that you can add a fake icon. That means 
the icon on URL. So I already made them. Okay. And close the window. And now I would like to change the image for the background. Uh, because Video Thunder is about um, automation of uh, video uh, maker, so we like to have this kind of background to representing the product. So I can change um, the font a little bit. Change some words. Just click away. It's very easy to use. Okay, I would like to add some text just before the get help on the following topic. So how do I do that? Uh, let me go to the insert tab, and you can just kind of highlight this one first, and click on the text box. The reason that I click on that because um, this is not a drag drop thing. So I need to have like an anchor for the text box uh, to land it on. I want this new section to be on the front. So how can I move that uh, content? So right now I want to move the content, this section, to the top. So when you move your cursor and it change to a handling and click and hold your mouse and move the section up. Okay. And then release your click. Okay, that's it. You now you move the content on the top of this section. And this is what I want. Now I want to um, make some change on this. So I'm going to add another page for quick understanding on Video Thunder workflow. So um, I'm going to add a picture here. Okay. So I'm going to create a quick understanding page. And since um, it already have a second page that I don't want, so I'm going to either delete it or just uh, modify the existing page. So here is the place that I can uh, change. So I'm going to change as quick understanding. Here, image. I don't need this text, so I'm going to delete it. All right. I'm going to make this So now I'm going to add an image to this area. So I 
just go ahead and click um, the image or load. Okay, so I'll, I want to be a really big image. So I kind of slowly drag this thing. Uh, I want to remove this section. to add some text. And since this is just a demo, uh, I'm not going to bore you. And I probably have 10 items on the page. So I'm going to skip it and introduce you. Uh, there are many items that you can play with. So I'm just quickly go through a few things that I feel is important for you to learn. And that's one of them is collapsible text. Let me just, uh, it, it cannot drop, drag and drop, so I'm going to click on that. Okay. So this is a collectible. The user can just click on the area and it will show up bottom section. And you can try the table content or image or also. Uh, that means you can have like a slide show area that you can put different images. And you can put bottom, some kind of call to action area, uh, divider, just a line. Uh, and you can put a YouTube uh, section. can resize your YouTube and you can insert a calendar or map or other Google documents such as sheets, slides or forms. So if you have a contact us or some kind of survey form you need to use, um, you can use the forms. Okay, so um, I think the design portion is really straightforward. Uh, you can try many things on your own. And let's move to uh, changing the domain. And before we move on, let's publish it. So the website will be um, a default website. So let's just call uh, publish. So once you click on publish, that means website is live. You can click on view publish site. So that's your temporary uh, site. So if this is an intranet, um, 
That's it. You are done. But if this is a, for a public website, then there are a few configuration that you need to do. And especially, you want to make this as a subdomain dot your company dot com. Okay, so here is how you going to customize your URL for your site. So you come to uh, google.com webmasters verification uh, for property. So you're going to add a property and follow their instruction. So once you enter your URL and you click on continue and follow the on screen step and click verify. So once you click on verify and you can go to the next step which is update your domain information such as uh, Google domain or GoDaddy or your uh, domain registers. So in your domain registrar, you should add a CNAME entry. So for my subdomain, I want to have a support.mydomain.com, right? So I'm going to add a CNAME and just type the entry called support and point to ghs.googlehosted.com and that's it there you have it so after you finish update the DNS information for your subdomain come back to your Google site and click on publish settings and at this point, you will see a custom URL show up. And you can add your subdomain at this time. So remember to give some time for the DNS information to propagate throughout our servers. Sometimes it takes 24 hours to 48 hours to complete the propagations of that DNS or your domain information. And that's how you can use Google Sites to build your site for free. I hope it's useful for you. If the video helped you learn how to use Google Sites to build your website for free, please give the video a thumb up. If you like to see videos like this in the future, please subscribe. I hope you enjoy the video and I will see you next time. Goodbye.